Hey friends, this is page 77 of our workbook, and this is something different today. This is punctuation, and we have three different punctuation marks. Move my page up so you can see. We have periods, question marks, and exclamation points. Okay? Periods are used after a sentence. Question marks are used after a question is asked, and exclamation points are used after a statement is really exciting. So we are going to practice these, okay? So we're going to start with our periods, and periods are so easy. It's just a dot. That's all it looks like. So what I want you to do is practice those four periods with me, and then we're going to go ahead and put them on our lines right below. So let's go ahead and trace those dots. They're super easy. That's it. Just one quick dot. So now we're going to put them below. Simple as that. Awesome job, friends. All right, now we're going to do some question marks. And we use question marks when we're asking a question. And question marks are a little bit harder to write. Um, they kind of look like a C but backwards. And they have a little bit of a line, so there's a little bit to them. So we're going to practice tracing them. Go around and down and then a dot. It also has a dot kind of like a period underneath it. Go around and down and dot. Around and down and dot. Around and down and dot. So now I want you to practice trace or practice writing them with me on our lines below. There are our question marks. And now our exclamation points. We're going to trace these. So one big line and then a dot. Perfect. Great job, guys. Now we have some uh, sentences and that we are going to practice our punctuation with. So our first one is a question. And it says, is this a question? And you can see it's asking a question and we have our question mark at the end. So I want you guys to notice something different about, about these sentences and about the lines that we have. Okay? So you can see we have capital letters and lowercase letters. Okay, so capital letters go from the top line to the bottom line, and lowercase letters Lowercase letters are at the middle line, or this middle dotted line, and they are only on the bottom half. So we're going to practice both of those. All right, so we're going to get started, and we're going to trace our whole question first, and then we're going to write it in the line below, because I want you guys to get some practice with these letters that some go from the top line to the bottom line, and some just stay between the middle dotted line and the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to move my page over a little bit so you can see, and then we'll I'll move it as we get over. Also, you can use your other hand to help stabilize your paper if you need to. So we're going to start our question. 
the capital I and our lowercase s. You need to pause this video at any time. You are welcome to, or you can just follow along with me. Don't forget to dot your I. All right, there, oops, I'm sorry. There is our first question. So now we're going to practice writing it. Our capital I goes from top to bottom. Our lowercase s stays underneath the second half. You can use the letters above to help you with spacing if you need it. Perfect job, friends. All right, so now we have two more that we're going to do. Here is our sentence. It is, we're going to do it the same way. We're going to trace these top letters and then practice writing. Then we have our exclamation sentence, and it is, I knew it! Let's finish tracing it. So now we're going to write it. Awesome job, friends. Perfect. I know this page is a little long, but you guys did so great.